I'm just so grateful that I've went through those trials earlier in the summer in order to meet my blessings, in order to see my blessings ahead and finding and listening to God's voice when it's there. <laughs> because I definitely will have all these distractions going on. You know, there's chaos everywhere. There's emails to check. There's content to watch and whatnot. But ultimately, it came down to what does God's voice sound like? Where am I finding that? You know, and it started with go live. And sometimes God's voice sounds like my voice. You know, maybe it's my subconscious. Maybe it's um, things that songs or podcasts, you know what I mean? But I, I also realize that overconsumption can be a distraction as well. So really just tapping into to my faith and building that because it's it's yielded so many amazing results. And I haven't ever been this committed to a journey <laughs> ever. And I'm so glad I did 40 be 40 because that, that really showed me that I'm capable of doing a lot more than I was giving myself credit for. You know, being consistent with posting a new vlog every single day, whether it was one minute or one hour. I was editing, I was recording, I was posting daily. And again, I know I am more capable than I give myself credit for. And you should know that you are more capable of doing more than you give yourself credit for. So take some time today to focus on you. Focus on what it is you want to accomplish in the next just three months. Simple. In the next three months, there's we're coming to the close of September, but we had the last quarter to really go strong. And if that means you just have to lock in and and you know maybe be alone for a little bit, little bit, or maybe your goal is to be a little bit more social. I had the goal of being a little bit more social this year, so I was like, well, I have to take initiative. And I can't just wait for people to invite me because if you don't get invited, don't ask to go, right? If you've been on TikTok or Twitch, you know where that's from. <laughs> but that really resonated with me. And I realized, you know what? I can't just sit around and expect people to always, you know, you know, tell me where to go. You know, I have to pick places where I want to go and, and put the invites out. And a lot has happened in between then. So... I'll be providing more updates as the week, weeks go on, but I realize that me not posting is, is no benefit to me or anyone else, especially if people need the, the messages. Even if it doesn't make sense, or even if I feel like I'm rambling, or if I'm bouncing from topic to topic, I also realize I haven't taken my vitamins yet. I haven't taken my B12. <laughs> so my mind is a little scattered right now, but this is the real day in the life of being self-employed, being a content creator, being an entrepreneur, being your own boss, is it just doesn't stop. And in the best ways possible. I feel like I have, I'm finding and I have found some harmony in this journey that isn't me neglecting myself to please others, that isn't um, isolating myself from others in order to succeed. I feel like I have a good mix of me time, family time, friends time, business time, hobby time, sports time, fitness time, God time, number one, TV time, you know what I'm saying? And I, I really have found, a, I'm, in a, I'm in a good place that I know can only improve and be better and get to where I really know it can go as long as I stay consistent and agile because life can throw you, will throw you curveballs and I'm, I'm ready for all of it. Um, but going back, one last thing about TikTok and going live. So my real estate channel, I obviously am talking about real estate, but I'm in the process of, and you guys are getting an exclusive if, if you made it this far in the vlog, but I'm in the process of changing the name of my podcast from the Transaction Care Podcast. It's, it's too long. I'll be talking about that in the next episode uh, to the keys and i've been working on the logo yesterday even though that's not the most important thing i just felt like i needed to see it in 
I needed to see an image to represent that this decision is happening. And I feel like that's been one of the things that's been, that's been a block in my business for a long time because I, I enjoy podcasting. I love it, but it is its own job, you know, and I'm still a one person show and I'm working on getting better, asking for help and finding the budget to hire help and what that looks like, you know, being strong enough to relinquish some of this, some of these tasks, but also coming on here, you know, with, with, I've rebranded this from FIA Life to just FIA. And if you don't know, FIA stands for Fearless Individuality Yields Abundant Healing. And that's always been my goal is like, how can I promote personal healing in order to, you know, in order to really promote the message of abundant healing? Because we're all on a healing journey, whether it's our mind, our heart, our body, our soul, whatever the case, our finances, our faith, we're all in the process of healing something but that only can happen if you heal yourself if you work on yourself will we ever be a hundred percent healed no i don't think so but i think if we have the knowledge and the tools and the language and the understanding and the grace and the time and the space in order to process to to learn about ourselves that can have a ripple effect on so many more people than me just than me or you or others just sitting around holding it all in you know so I'm still a work in progress but I am grateful for this platform that I'm creating I am grateful to on TikTok be talking about basketball you know you've seen me dabble in travel food day in the life fitness I'm still gonna do all of that right but I, I really feel like there's something with basketball that God's been talking to me about, talking to me about that I really have to listen and hone in on. So you guys are witnessing this in real time. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where it's taking me. And I'm going to be faithful and diligent in that. But I feel like returning back to the things that brought me joy, which you guys have also witnessed, is, is you know, seeing me play basketball, you know, at the park almost every day and, and, and that so, that soul decision changed so much for me. It reignited a joy in me that I had put out years ago. And I love basketball so much in all of its forms, you know, but especially women's basketball, the WNBA and everything that that is rooted in that. So I'm excited to continue to talk about that, to talk about my just life journey in my 40s where I'm at and just giving it to you guys raw and real. You know, whether it's just for me to express this and, and put it out there for one person to watch or many, then I'm okay. And if you've made it this far in the vlog, I appreciate you. I'm really trying to keep these under, you know, between 10 and 20 minutes. So I feel like I've met my mark, so I'm gonna get out of here. But just to kind of recap, what's going on and i'll talk about the whole going back to college thing in the next episode but i've just been listening to god and doing what god tells me honestly and doing my best to be grateful to limit my complaining to no complaining to trusting god trusting the process and tr trusting myself and trusting the abundance in no particular order but Life is lifing, but life is still a blessing. And I hope you all are having fun. I'm out of here. Talk to you on the next one.